G'day, I'm Brady, and this is a quick Brady's breakdown. Make sure to like and subscribe to this guy. Thanks heaps. By now, you all would have seen the Gillette ad, where Gillette has called out toxic masculinity, and has called on other men to call out bad behavior. And you know what? It's super inspiring. It's inspired me so much to call out bad behavior. So much, in fact, I'm looking at you, Gillette, and your parent company, Procter & Gamble. I'm gonna call you out for fucking bad behavior. Let's forget that Gillette has had deeply sexist ad campaigns for decades now. Let's also forget that they manufacture campaigns to make women feel bad about their bodies and shave off all their hair, essentially to sell more races. What they're doing right now is just as reprehensible. They're charging women more for essentially the exact same product. It's called a pink tax. And just because you're a woman, guess what? You get to pay more. And this isn't in the past. This is happening right now. These are the prices on Gillette's website. You're paying more because you're a woman. That is deeply fucked up and pretty bloody misogynist. Hey Gillette, why don't you stick to doing what you do best and shave the pink tax off your prices, you pricks. Greenpeace have also called out Procter & Gamble for the massive deforestation in Indonesia, causing orangutans to lose loads of their natural habitat. So many orangutans being killed and even burnt to death for operations relating directly to Procter & Gamble's business. Procter & Gamble love women, unless that female's got disgusting body hair. Ugh, what do you look after yourself? I'd also like to call out that you've been using child labor. That's right, fucking child labor. Amnesty International call you sourcing from businesses that use children as their workforce. I don't even know what to say about this. It's so deeply fucked up, I shouldn't have to explain it. Or maybe because you're an entirely fucked up multinational corporation that likes profiteering off the suffering of women and piggybacking off a social movement that happened almost two years ago, I do need to explain how reprehensible child labor is to you. You know better than tobacco companies that piggybacked off the women's suffrage movement. Not because they wanted women to vote, it's because they wanted to sell more of their cancerous product. A couple of years ago, a company called Foxconn, which manufactures Apple products, had a problem with their employees committing suicide. Rather than addressing this problem, they just built a net around their building so their employees couldn't leap to their death easily. Congratulating Gillette for making this ad. It'll be like congratulating Foxconn for making a rainbow colored suicide net for Gay Pride Month. Gillette, I've honestly got to say, it was an incredible short film. It was really touching and really inspiring. But as an advertisement for your business, it's so deeply fucked up. I feel this is the one time where it's totally acceptable to shoot the messenger. There's two things you should take from this Gillette ad. One is to treat women with dignity and respect. And number two is to grow a beard.